Today we will talk about sleep apnea. There are different type of sleep apnea, but we will talk about obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea is a little different than insomnia. What happened? People with insomnia have problems going to sleep. They are waking up quite a bit, and when they are awake, they don't feel fresh. They have hard time. waking up in the morning um and then they feel kind of restless uh, sometimes even irritable easily sometimes upset easily people with sleep apnea um and then we will talk about obstructive sleep apnea they usually feel very tired they are going to sleep and some of the time they are able to go to sleep but during the night time throughout the night they are waking up quite a bit because they are not getting enough oxygen in the brain the best way to find out if you have obstructive sleep apnea is to talk to your doctor but there is another way to just look into it if you have some of the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea there is a A scale online is called Epworth Sleepiness Scale. You can find that scale online on Google or Yahoo, and you can you know read about it and you can score that. And if you have um, a score that is greater than ten, then it means that you are more likely to have excessive daytime sleepiness compared to just restlessness or exhaustion. people with sleep apnea usually have problem breathing that usually lasts up to 10 seconds and that's the reason they wake up quite a bit because they are not getting enough oxygen they are having problems with breathing and they are waking up quite a bit it usually lasts um, or it usually occurs minimum of 5 times each hour and in some extreme to uh, extreme cases people are waking up even more than that um and even waking up every few minutes and the reason they are waking up is because their brain is not able to get enough oxygen and that's why they are waking up to get the oxygen so sometimes they will wake up like <gasps> and then they will go back to sleep people with obstructive sleep apnea have chronic insomnia uh they have problems with sleep but their sleep issue is mostly related to their obstructive sleep apnea so it's not uh, like a regular insomnia it is an insomnia that is going on for a while and because of the sleep apnea remember obstructive sleep apnea is a very easily treatable illness usually you need to, to be seen by a sleep doctor they will have you come to the sleep clinic you will sleep over there at night time and then they will evaluate if you have sleep apnea or not sometime they can even give you some machine to take it with you and you can uh go to your home sleep and s- then you can bring that machine back to them to and then they will evaluate if you have sleep apnea or not but if you have sleep apnea you, you will talk to your sleep doctor and then he or she will give you uh cpap machine and you will use it and it will uh, treat the sleep apnea if you don't get the sleep uh, apnea treated it can cause multiple problems it can cause mood problem it can cause headache it can cause blood pressure problem it can cause other heart problems also so it can cause a lot of uh, problems uh, but if you will treat it you will feel much better i have seen some clients who comes to me with symptoms of depression like low energy low motivation they feel tired all the time it is affecting their mood it is affecting their social life their work life and because of that they tend to get depressed but the main reason is that they are not sleeping well because they have underlying sleep apnea so if you have some of these following risk factor please consider and going online and do the epworth sleepiness scale or talk to your doctor so these are the risk factors excessive tiredness or sleepiness during the daytime with epworth score greater than 10 number second is you are being observed by a family member or anyone who is with you at night time and then you are waking up uh, with uh, trying to breathe or you snore heavily 
The third one is that you have increased blood pressure. Uh, the fourth one is that you have uh, the BMI is greater than uh, 35. Uh, another risk factor is uh, age greater than 50, but I've seen in younger people also. And people with neck circumstance, uh, circumference greater than 17 centimeter uh, in males and 16 centimeter in female are also at a high risk uh, of developing sleep apnea. Usually, uh, male gender has a higher rate of occurrence around 2 to 1 ratio. Of, but uh, it's an easily treatable disease. Uh, but uh, if you don't uh, get it treated, it can cause multiple problems, uh, including blood pressure. Even sometimes people have hard time uh, with the weight also. They, they have hard time losing weight. They are exercising. They are following a, a diet. But still, they cannot sleep because they have underlying sleep apnea. So I would highly recommend if you have some of those symptoms, please consider talking to your doctor. Thank you.